now this is our icsc java tutorial series and in the last video we saw how we can do selection sort in java so in this video we are going to see how we can do bubble sort in java this is another sorting technique in java programming so let's straight away move to the program so as you can see i'm opening blue j you know this is java's id to develop java program okay so i have already made a program for you i'm going to explain you each line program line by line so let's begin with that so here my program is with the name class bubble sort okay so we will maximize it now as you can see i have a class called bubble sort and inside bubble sort class i have a method with the name bubble sort okay and this method is basically having two parameters first of array type with name a which is an array of integer values and next is the size where we will specify the size of this array okay now i have few variable i j k and the one temporary variable because here also we will have to swap the uh, elements in that array okay but working is slightly different okay because here we just compare the two adjacent element and if the second element is smaller than the first so to arrange them in ascending order they will interchange their position unlike selection sort okay and this goes on till the end of the day so we'll see how we will actually apply this concept in the program so we have a for loop which is running from zero that is you know why zero because first index number zero and less than size that also you know because we are dealing with index number and index number when you just check it is always one less than the size because if the size is 10 the index number will be from zero to nine that is the max so i have a for loop zero to less than size and incrementing by one and inside i we have another loop called j okay the, he, that loop is also starting from zero but this is something interesting which you need to look into which i'm highlighting also here okay this part actually you can see j the condition of j is as long as j is less than size minus one minus i now this we want to go in detail because you know that j will always be a next element of that array let's say if initially i is zero so j is also zero okay but this loop will go how far less than size obviously like i was going less than size it should also go less than size but no minus one remember why minus one because imagine we are comparing the first element with the second element and the second element is you know uh, second with the third and third with the fourth and uh, there will be a time when we are comparing let's say the eighth element with the ninth ninth is the last index so when we are comparing j with j plus i then always remember that we can't go till the end so that is why always remember while i will be going to less than size j will go size minus one will go initially size minus one minus i and initially i is zero so this will be zero so this will go till size minus one at the very beginning it will go till size minus one because if the size is nine it will go till eight because the earlier one is going till nine so this will go till eight only that is why we can have comparison between the two adjacent element one is next of uh, ahead of another so as you can see when we are comparing we are comparing a j if a j is greater than a j plus one that is why if j is zero then j plus one will be one so means we are comparing zero index with the first index next time when it will be incremented it will be now comparing second element with the third element now third element with the fourth element all right so i think you must have understood why it is j 
is being compared with the j plus 1 and if aj is bigger than aj plus 1 means if the first element is bigger than the second element that means second element should come to the place of first that is aj and the first element should go to the second element so if in case the first element is bigger than the second element or the zero index is bigger than the first index then they should interchange their position if we are arranging them in ascending order so that is why they are interchanging their position with the help of a temp variable last time also i discussed with you so in that case value of j goes to temp and value of j plus one goes to j they have interchanged and at the same time value of temp goes to j plus one so by doing this i think last time i explained you they are swapping their positions so in that case the second element goes to the first place and the first element goes to the second place so they have been arranged they have just two adjacent element first and second have interchanged their position if they meet this criteria all right so after each and this continues then second will be compared with the third third with the fourth fourth with the fifth and so on till it goes till the size minus one because initially value of i is zero and after this we will go out of the j loop and we'll go to the i loop now with the i loop before going to the i loop after first pass we will print the value uh, we will print the value or the uh, arrangement of the array using another loop let's say called k which we, which will go till less than size and will print how this array will look like after the first iteration of bubble sort now with the new value of i that will be now one because we are still inside outer loop i and the value of i has been incremented to one now we will re-enter inside the j loop and j will start again from the beginning but this time again j will compare first element with the second and second with the third third with the fourth and so on and if this is this condition is true they will interchange their position like they were doing earlier but have a look at this here size minus one minus i size minus one is because we will not go till the full length of the array because index number is always one less than the size but value of i initially it was zero but after first run the value of i is now one so imagine we were going till full length of the array but this time we'll go one less than that because the value of i is one now imagine the size is 10 so 10 minus 1 is 9 the 9 is the last index minus 1 and because i's value is 1 initially so we will go till 8 so this loop will run till 0 to 8 now only which was running from 0 to 9 will run now 0 to sorry size is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so earlier it was running till 8 now it will run till 7 because the i value of i is now 1 and same thing will continue they will interchange their position the array will be arranged after second run and will be printed using k loop okay after second iteration now we will go out of the j loop we will go to i loop i will be incremented by 1 again we will re-enter now we will re-enter so j will be loop will be refreshed will again start running from the beginning but this time remember the value of i is now 2 that means size is 10 minus 1 is 9 minus 2 that is 7 so next time the value of i will be 3 so it will go till 6 then till 5 then uh, 4 then 3 then 2 so what is happening as you can see we are arranging the element in uh, ascending order so we are settling the element from the bottom so with the first run we have settled the largest element at the bottom second time we will not go till the bottom but one above the bottom then the two above the bottom and the three above the bottom so gradually we are going not till the full length of the array because we have already arranged the larger element at the bottom and we are keep coming up because of this because i is incrementing which is not allowing j loop to go till the end but each time it is running one less than the previous run so once you will do this program you will come to know the logic but 
basic logic is this much and after each run we are printing to see how it looks like and finally going to the main method where we are initializing an array with some element which are in unsorted form and then calling the bubble sort method which we have defined over here with a is an array array type variable and 10 is the size because the size of this array is 10 if you count there are 10 elements in it and then we are printing them in ascending order finally with another i loop you can say and this i loop when it will print it will print them in sorted order because it was in unsorted order the bubble sort method has sorted them and then finally when we will print it will print now in sorted order so i hope that you must have got some idea with the help of this program and rest when you will try you can pause this video and note down this program and can try yourself now let's compile and see the output so here we are compiling as we can see it is showing no error now let's close this let's close this and we will run this program all right we will run this program and see the output and analyze the output so here is my program bubble sort so we will just simply run it and see yes this is our output now we will analyze as you can see after the first run my array will look like this as you can see it has already been placed in the random order but have a look at this the element which was the largest one will be placed at the bottom this is the way how bubble sort actually works after first pass it will place the largest element at the end at the bottom and after the second iteration again it will do the swapping between the two adjacent element and keep on going and this way it will settle the second largest as you can see here it was one but now the second largest 15 has been placed above 15 so next time our j loop will not go till the end but will go till here only now after third run it will go till here only 12 because 15 and 19 have already been placed now next time we will go one up and it will place nine over here so we will go till this only now next time we will go till eight only as you can see in this part it has already been sorted out but here it is in unsorted form and next run it will go till five then till four then three then two then one so finally after last run you can see the array has been arranged in sorted order that is ascending order okay so i think with this result clearly show us that how bubble sort works and finally when we are printing them in ascending order we have this list as you can see it has already been sorted for so i hope that you will get some idea with this and rest you, you can try this program and that will give you a better idea how to work with bubble sort array thank you very much